Oh, I just realized my mic wasn't on. Thank goodness I saw that. Um, hello, if you're new to this channel, my name is Daisy Ray, and today I'm going to finish up my Mass Effect gaming. Um, I hope everything is working right, because you know, I don't know how to do shit. I honestly don't. I just play games and buy things. <laughs> so, um, I kind of already did some things, and... I forgot to record it or stream it or something. Strange. But right now, uh, we're about to go talk to Anderson and he's gonna basically tell us, you know, get your shit together, get back into the game, and then we're gonna go fuck up Saren, hopefully. I'm sorry, I cursed too much. I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard what happened. Is my volume all the way up? Yeah. Um, now I know how you felt. Udina sold me out. You could have helped me. The Normandy's been grounded. I know, I'm sorry. Is it just I me or does his face look really no weird? Get a message to you Looks like he, you um... I know you're pissed off right now. I don't know. But you can't give up. They all I thought he was trying to make it look like more updated. You have to go to his Ivy. face is kind of creepy. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. It's not that simple. How? Forget it. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. What happens to you? If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy so and off weird. this station. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. Mm. Thank you. Tell me what to do. You're right. What's the plan? I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. There's got to be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He won't just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The Ambassador will not forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. Let's break into the office. That's what I chose last time. Because I know he's one guy, and he's You'll old. I don't want him going up against a bunch of computer. armed people. I was hoping That's just me. The Ambassador has made this push. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Damn right I am. Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Okay. There, I think there's some other things that I forgot to do here. Like, um, when I forgot to record, I did this mission with the um, doctor. But then she was like, oh, you need to go talk to Anderson. And I was like, oh, well, Anderson is already getting ready to, um, to, to hack into some computers so hopefully I can do them extra missions uh, after I complete the game I don't know if that's the thing because I haven't played this one I played um excuse me you're the Spectre right Commander Shepard it is an honor to speak with you you obviously wanted to speak to me I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? You're marking the end of the first contact war with a protest. As we have every year for the last 26 years. The war taught humanity a lesson that some would forget. We don't stand up for ourselves. No one else will. I thought the lesson of the First Contact War was that there's other life in the galaxy and they have opinions too. Perhaps so, Commander. But if aliens feel free to express their opinions at gunpoint, why shouldn't we? What happened at the mass relay was a misunderstanding. If you saw a child about to touch a gun, wouldn't you stop them? 
I'd pull them away, yes. I wouldn't shoot them dead. Sorry, I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. We've heard that before in human history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations <laughs> of peace in our time. We can't allow anything like Shan Shi to happen again. I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy. The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. You have the right to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno, but with all due respect, I disagree with it. I understand. I'm glad you support the democratic process, at least. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Farma on Election Day, because Terra Farma remembers you. Remember Shanshi! Okay, so... No blood for aliens! That happens? Where am I going? I don't know. Oh, to Normandy. Normandy. Okay. Isn't there a thing over here? Yeah. Okay, so now I need to go to the docking. Alliance officials report that a Geth incursion into the Armstrong cluster has been repulsed, with the Geth suffering heavy casualties. Damn right they did. In the event of future Geth activity, the Alliance plans to maintain a strong security presence in the area. Anderson, what are you doing here? I didn't send. Mm. Oh, shit. Let's go. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. Punching assholes and taking names. I'm gonna check one quick to see if I can talk to any people um, before we head off to this big mission. Thank you. That's our boo name, by the way. talk later Caden I'd like that okay I don't think there's anything else to say I'm gonna check with um Liara too this will all be over soon Shepard one way or another that's it this will all be over soon Shepard one way or another 
Okay. Why didn't you say anything? Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time uh, for personal debriefing. What's your opinion on the last mission? Input? Hell, I don't know. We're fighting giant machines from outside the galaxy. Should I be afraid of them? Or in all of them? Anything so old, so intelligent. Yeah, they've been around a while. So were the Turians. We gave them a boot in the ass. I think we're gonna need a bigger boot, Commander. <laughs> we'll talk later, Caden. I'd like that. Shit, sorry about that. I crashed a moment. My game always, my computer always waits until after I start um, playing to do stuff like that. Okay, let's go talk to Garrus, and then we're gonna talk to um, Rex and. I can't believe. Oh, no, sorry, Ashley's dead. I mean, I'm not surprised after everything you've told me, but still. You sound worried, Garrus. No, not really. If you're wrong, we'll pay for it. But if you're right and we did nothing, I think we'd regret it a whole lot more. I just oh, hope yeah. we can catch Saren before they realize what they're saying. We'll catch him. Just be ready when we do. Yes, Commander. Stealing an Alliance ship? Risky stuff. I hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. I'm not as crazy as everyone thinks. Sometimes crazy is the best way to go. <laughs> I just hope they don't catch us before we get our hands on Sarah. They won't. I hope you're right. So long, Rex. Shepard. about it oh Tali I always forget her even though she's the only person that I keep on my own um, party we're fugitives on the run very exciting Shepard <laughs> I wonder what the council would do to us if we got caught your father probably has some political pull right he wouldn't let them throw his little girl in jail you don't know my father. Stealing ships is a capital offense among my people. He'd probably want to execute us himself. Oh my gosh. We got bigger problems than your father, like Saren and the Reapers. Good point. Was there something else you wanted to talk about? I should go. I didn't mean to come so harsh. Tali is so sweet. I love Tali. She's so nice and cute and funny. 
well i don't know if she's cute but her voice is cute and she's she just sounds so bubbly like she like you would want to be her friend that's how that's that's how i see tolly she's a friend a good friend one of those good friends that you just you always want around But I never played this um, game. I played 2, 3, and Andromeda. So, all of this is kind of new to me. Not the characters, because obviously they kept the characters in um, 2 and 3, but... Yeah. I'm getting safe. Oh, I should have checked to see where we were going first. I don't even know where we're going. Oh, we're going to Ilos, but I don't know where that is. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, I'm glad you're in the area. We've got an emergency situation and you're the only one I can trust to get the job done. How can I help, Admiral? Biotic fanatics have hit a medical research station with a psychotropic drug. The drugs have temporarily driven researchers crazy, and the biotics are effectively using them as human shields. Um... So if I shoot everything that moves, a lot of researchers are going to die. Exactly. A normal team could handle the biotics, but a lot of innocent researchers would die during the operation. That's why I contacted you. I'm hoping you can keep the casualties to a minimum. I'll take the biotics down, Admiral, and I'll try to limit the casualties. I know you will, Commander. I'm sending you the station coordinates now. Fifth fleet out. But aren't we supposed to be going to Ilos? The, uh, I'm confused. <laughs> well, I hope I can do that later because I want to do this right now. of magnificent cities. Even casual observation shows this is no longer the case. Ilos has been devastated by means of unknown. Its wait. Its entire surface changed to the color of rust. The atmosphere shows heightened levels of oxygen. Wildfires presumably ignited by lightning strikes can be seen burning in the dark side. This indicates the most, if not all, whispering animal life forms have died off. Surface gravity is a comfortable 1.17 standard G's. Uh, okay. I don't know why I read all that. It's not like it's gonna matter. I'm going there anyway. But I like to read it sometimes. Commander? Oh, huh. is my um. On Switch, it seems like I'm paused, but I'm good on the other one, so I don't know. Let me refresh. Oh no, I'm not paused. It looked like I was paused for a moment. Commander? 
Unless you deserve the rain. Stop calling me Coranda. You probably shouldn't call me that. <laughs> probably shouldn't even be wearing this uniform. Yeah, hell of a thing. We broke our oath to defend the Alliance so we can keep it. What happens if this doesn't work out, Shepard? Are we mutinied, stole a prototype warship? If they wanted to get technical, they could throw in kidnapping. We're a hell of an example of humanity's best and brightest, huh? I don't know about the example part, but as far as saving the galaxy, how good are first-timers supposed to be? <laughs> Fair enough. It'll really hit the fan when we get to Ilos. If things don't go well, I want you to know. Well, I've enjoyed serving under you. Oh, they're about to kiss! Oh my god! Caden. <laughs> He stopped being a subordinate a long time ago. Kiss, 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 like kiss, 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 There are ranks against fraternization. <laughs> well, I suppose breach of protocol will be pretty far down the list of charges at our courts martial. You know what? You're right. About everything. I think about losing you and I can't stand it. Aww. The galaxy will just keep going. Everything, even the Reapers, will come around again. But you and I... This is what will never happen again. Us, Shepard. You make me feel human. Bunk here tonight, Caden. Oh yeah. shit. Is that an order, Commander? Shut up and get over here. Careful, Shepard. I might think that you're abusing your authority. A serious breach <laughs> of protocol. That's not funny. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know if I can show this on YouTube. <laughs> oh my god, I hope I don't get um blocked from YouTube or something. It's been a long time since I met a woman. Bridge to Commander Shepard. We're five minutes out from the Mew Relay. You know, I don't think I have all my stress worked out yet. Joker's waiting for you on the bridge. I swear, though, if anything happens to you, take care, Shepard. Establish a romantic relationship in Mass Effect 1, 2, or 3. Ah, she has a romance! I'm so happy for her. <laughs> but I hope that that scene doesn't, like, get me kicked off on YouTube or something. Because that was a lot more than what I was expecting. I thought they were just gonna kiss. Not, you know. Oh, look at all those ships, man. Ah, uh, Commander? We've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? The stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least 100 meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is 20. 20 meters? We'll never get in close enough for a drop. We have to try. Find another landing zone. There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option, it's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. Girl squad. Coming to save today. I have not used any of the boys in this, and I kind of feel bad, but I need my tech and my biotics, so. Wait. Is she? Yeah, 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 yeah. Liara is the biotic, and um, Tali is the tech.
have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We will have to find some way to get it up and running again. Okay, before I do this, I'm going to take a brief right back. Um, that way I don't have any distractions. So, as soon as I come back, we're going to get in there, fuck up Saren, and complete this game. So, I'll be right back.
Oh, okay, I'm back, sorry. <laughs> um, before we move on, I want to check my armor and stuff. Because I feel like these spikes is going to be like the hardest one. Oh, I can do them anything. Intimidate. I don't know what I said earlier. Um, let's check on my full up. I almost defeated this whole thing, to be honest. I did the first aid because I have someone else on my first aid. Uh oh. Um, oh, she has six. Maybe I just complete one of these. But see, I have myself in depression, so I don't think she needs that, to be honest. more of this. I don't know why, but I'm just on this black now. So. Okay, now I'm gonna go. So, I'm hitting it really quick. So make sure we all have the best things. Make sure we all have the best that we can have. This is about to be a war. This is about to be some, some sh that we've never done before. We need to be on our A game. Hello, Panda Mars. That they have the best armor because we're about to go fight Saren and I feel like it's gonna be really hard. I feel like this is gonna be really hard because um to be honest I don't know if it's because I'm playing on casual but this game has been pretty easy for the most part. It's been scary but it's been pretty easy and I don't know if that's because the level or why or maybe I'm just that good at gaming which I doubt because I'm not good at gaming <laughs> but this is really easy so I feel like this part is going to be the hardest. So, I'm just making sure everyone is really quick. <coughs> Sorry. I should have drink some water or something before I play these games.
I miss a meat. <laughs> I love looting in, in games. I was looting so much that the game had to tell me that I had too many items and I had to sell some items or turn it into a medi gel. another thing that's very confusing like sometimes I see guns for one character that I don't see on the other one I don't know if that's because of their um their race or what something like that I think it's I think it's the last mission to be honest I think we're about to go capture Saren because we just stole the ship from um, the council because they was trying to lock us out and told us that we can't go to this planet to stop Saren and we said fuck that and took the ship and did it anyway and then Anderson punched the other guy in the face and it was so cool as soon as I um, finished the um, Weapons, I'll see the name of it. Yeah, it was it was epic. I did not know and then Shepard got freaky and I didn't know that she was gonna do that. I was like, oh my god, I hope I don't get like kicked off by like, streaming or something. Cause I thought they was just gonna kiss or something, but they got down and dirty. I was like, oh, okay. You should play, even if it's the old one, you should play it. Cause this, I, I have never played this one before. I played two, three, and then Andromeda, but I'm really, really liking it. So we're going to uh, find the conduit. That's what we're doing. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Did we take our car? Oh shit! I didn't even see that. Wait, who is shooting at us? Who is? Oh. I thought I was accidentally hitting the button. I think we got a 12 foot now. They're gonna make us go inside. You know, one thing that I do like about this game though is that you don't have to worry about ammo. 
a better gun that I can use but I don't know I always go for this one So close. I don't know what that. I don't know what that is. What is that? Is that a door? Are these the Protheans? Let me see if I play. Oh, I can't. I feel like they're gonna come to life and um, attack me or something. Hold on. The hell, the texture looks so much better. To be honest, I, would, I couldn't tell because it just looked really weird. But, um, I, since I never played this one, I wasn't sure if the texture was the same or if it was better or whatnot. Let me check back this way first. There's just so many exits that I don't know which way I'm supposed to go. Ew. See, I want to go the way I'm not supposed to go. That way I can make sure I, I do everything. 
Or is this just the same way? See, there's too many exits. I don't know which way to go. I don't know which way to go. shooting me, but I don't know. I can't see it. There's just so many places to go and I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Because usually I mark it on my map, but they don't, there's nothing on my map. I'm gonna be saving a lot, y'all, because I always worry that I'll end up losing some some kind of data or something. Like, I'll crash or something, and then all of my effort is just gone out the door. Oh. Okay. It is like a maze, right? Like, I don't know which way to go. on the side. I think he went to step right at the bottom. Mm-hmm. 
think it is. Where am I going? If not down here. It's not letting me get down, so I'm, I'm very confused. How do you get down? You can't jump. Maybe I wasn't supposed to come up here? I don't know. all over the place. It's so gross and crazy. Like, who decided to make that? That's so weird. I mean, usually I like weird things, but I don't... Uh, it's so gross. I can't do it. They make me want to vomit. The way they just so... Ugh, I can't explain it. It's just gross. Another reason why I um, save so much because this game has a lot of bugs. Like in this last um, mission I went on, whenever I try to. Hold on. much now are you? I don't remember a leap about this game so I'm gonna be lost just like you. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> this game is very confusing sometimes but I've been really really enjoying it. And you know what I like the most about these games is that they have so many different kind of aliens. Like on Jamana you only had like the main ones the Solarians, Turians, and Krogan. But on here you have like the, uh, the, the E. coli, I forgot their name. And then you have the jellyfish one. Oh my gosh!
I'm gonna try one more time because I'm gonna just say forget it. Because I already have a lot of weapons already. Let me do! Oh, that actually worked. Whoa! Is he on my team? I'm so confused. Oh. Hey. Huh. Are you... I, I, what? What? I don't know if this is a bug or a piece on my team. I don't, I don't know what's going on right now. Maybe if I do this one, I'll get another one. I don't know what's going on right now. Bringing them online to fight for me. Oh, let's do them all. Even though it's probably too late now because I didn't already kill everything, but that's so cool. Holy crap! Thank you. Yes, come fight for me. If I just force it, it'll come through. And it works. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna have a big fight or something because I don't know why we got those. Cause I already killed everything that was in here, so. Saren already has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it. Then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message. But I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Of course. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. Not be stopped. Cause I'll stop it.
realized I had new armor. I like that armor. She looks like the real N7 now from off of the, um, the, uh, thing. The box. Wait, is this where I came from earlier? Holy shit, that's a lot of them. Brody, I can see shit. Whoa, you're in a way.
be up here. I feel like this is where I just came from. I'm so lost. Up here? No, I can't get up there. I'm so lost, guys. Oh! Oh my god. So I'm supposed to go back to the vehicle. <laughs> okay. That's why I can't find anything. You journal and stuff like that. Faster without getting the feet. 
I wish that they made that a skill that you can learn so you don't get fatigued as much. Creepy underground bunker. discover anything like this. This bunker might have been the last refuge of their entire species. Just imagine what mysteries it might hold. Imagine what secrets it might reveal. Please, try to remember why we're here. Serin, the conduit, the fate of the entire known galaxy. I am sorry. I was swept up in the moment. I just hope we have the opportunity to study this place in detail after this is done. I thought Saren would have set some kind of trap or ambush for us. They must have been in too much of a hurry. Or we just have yet to run into it. Uh-huh. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Holly. Thanks a lot. You just jinxed us. You know, we're gonna um, do something like some kind of giant death monster or something. things on the wall. Some kind of containers? They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tried to keep themselves alive through cryogenic freezing. Something must have gone wrong. This bunker became their tomb. The pods are dead as well as anyone else. Save a lot, I'm sorry. Just to make sure I don't have to do that part over if I crash or something. I feel like that we're gonna do something really, really big right now. Just because she said that. What is happening? It's a trap! Saren must have set an ambush! I do not think Saren is behind this. Oh sorry. is okay. You kind of just left it. I have studied the Protheans for decades, but I have never felt this sense of foreboding. What will we find down there? Whatever we find, be cautious. If this were simply an automated trap, Saren would have triggered it as well. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. It looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI, and I can understand it. I have been monitoring your communications since you arrived at this facility. 
I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system, with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, Chief Overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the Relay is activated and the Reapers invade. How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack! That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our Empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. 
Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought. The indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small-scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit is not a weapon. It is a backdoor onto the Citadel. How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted and my energy reserves were dwindling. How did you survive? I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? He couldn't let everyone die. Better to sacrifice some so others could live. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. I still don't understand what's going on here. Why is Saren trying to find the Conduit? The Conduit gives him access to the Citadel and the Keepers. The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the Conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren can use the conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. Correct. And once inside, he can transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. I'll take Sovereign down. Somehow. There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit, follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. I think that's everything. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now the projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity of a lifetime. 
It might know something useful. I will provide whatever information I can. My data banks, however, are limited to information directly related to stopping the Reaper invasion. So when the Reapers created the Citadel, they created the Keepers as well? A more likely scenario is that the Keepers were one of the early harvested civilizations. Perhaps the very first. Perhaps they responded well to indoctrination, or the Reapers simply bred them to be obedient. In any case, they were left behind to operate and maintain the Citadel. But the Keepers are no longer directly controlled by Sovereign or its ilk. They evolved so that they only respond to the signals emitted by the Citadel itself. When the Protheans altered the Citadel signals, they broke Sovereign's hold over the Keepers. Now, they are completely harmless. Sovereign must have realized organic races were difficult to control. A likely hypothesis. The Keepers evolved in an unanticipated direction. Non-organic servants like the Geth would be more predictable. If the Reapers are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get here? It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction. A sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. But this time the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secret? Why not just attack the Citadel? Sovereign is not invincible. Revealing its true nature would have united the forces of every organic species against it. Even a Reaper couldn't survive such odds. But the Reapers are patient. They will not rush into the unknown. Sovereign could have been planning this for centuries, moving deliberately, gathering allies. Slowly, it has assembled the pieces of the puzzle, working through agents to keep itself hidden. Saren is the most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I doubt he was the first. Now Sovereign has grown bold. Whether from confidence or desperation, I cannot say. But it is determined to reopen the portal to Dark Space. I've got the file. Come on. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry.
conduit. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these Geth aren't going to make it easy on us. Scary because I was like, hold on, do I have to fight and then go critical through? failures detected across all monitored systems? Please begin emergency evacuation. damage. We have lost all primary power to the level. Environmental controls are not responding. Class 3 fires are burning in sectors 2, 3, 6, and 7. Civilian casualties are high. I am also detecting numerous unauthorized synthetic life forms throughout the station. They are believed to be hostile. Please approach with caution. Come on! We need to stop Saren before it's too late! Evacuation procedures. Okay, I'm so scared. <laughs> Critical I like that Shepard still has a gun out. She's like, fuck that shit. They didn't do anything. The Citadel's closing. They're sealing the station. Don't let the enemy ships inside the arms.
What are you talking about, huh? What's going on? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all.
save too much, but <laughs> you just never know. systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station. See if you can open a communications channel. Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Andura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. Are you sure about this, Shepard? Human casualties will be very high if you send your fleet in now. This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign is a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. True. That's why you can't waste reinforcements trying to save the Council. You must hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? Um, I don't know. The Council, they were like, very... Um, like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. Because the Council... 
there was they didn't even want us to come here and because of them things got so bad so I don't know let me see I'm gonna cheat real quick and see what happens if I don't save them because I don't really want to save them Maybe I'll come back and show you the, um, Wait until those arms open, Joker. We need all our ships focusing on Sovereign, even if it means sacrificing the Council. A sacrifice for the greater good. I only pray it is not made in vain. All Alliance ships, home formation. Wait for a shot at Sovereign. Nothing else matters. I repeat, nothing else matters. Make sure he's dead. He's dead.
Griffith. This is our only chance. Take that monster down no matter what the cost. We got your message, Ambassador. What's all this about? No need to get worked up, Captain. I'd like to end this meeting with all my teeth still in place. You should thank me for what I did. If the Normandy were still grounded, we'd all be dead right now. I understand, Captain. You did what you had to do. That's not why you're here. We need to talk about what happened to the Council. Commander Shepard did the right thing. We had to hold our fleet back to go after Sarsa. Was the only way. I agree, but this also presents us with an opportunity. The Citadel fleets were decimated in the attack. Their losses have made the Alliance stronger. 
They can't rebuild without us. We need to take the lead in forming a new council, one with a human chairman at its head. I can see the other races inviting us to join the Council, but lead it? That's a whole different story. The other species are scared. They've never faced anything like this before. They don't know what to do. They want us to step forward. They believe in us because of you, Shepard. You saved the galaxy from Sovereign. You're a symbol of everything good about humanity, our courage, our strength. The Ambassador's right. The other races look up to us now. They won't just accept our leadership, they'll welcome it. Given everything you've done, Commander, the Alliance will want to know who you think our Council Chairman should be. We're about to go to war. We need someone with military experience. Someone like Captain Anderson. You make a good case. Captain, are you ready for this? I don't know if any of us are ready for this, but I'll do what I can. So what happens now? You two can handle the political end, but the Reapers are still out there. They're coming, and I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. We're headed for war with the Reapers. If we lose, it's the end of all life as we know it. We have to show the rest of the galaxy what it takes to survive. With the support of the other races, we can win this battle. With them behind us, we can stand against the Reapers' return and drive them back into dark space. other games, 2, 3, and then Andromeda, but I never fully played this one because when I tried to play it, my Xbox was being weird, but now I'm on my PC and I played it, and I absolutely love it. It was a lot shorter than what I was intending it to be, but I'm really happy I played it, and I can't wait to get into the next game. I don't know if I'm going to stream the next game unless someone really, really wants to see it, but because I don't think there's a lot of interest in this game on my platform. But I had so much fun playing this game. Um, yeah. So thanks so much for watching. And I hope you all have an amazing, amazing day. I kind of want to wait and go to the um, credits are over just to see if like, they have like... I hope this is something in the way. Just to see if they have some kind of, you know, final word or something. And I can't make the credits stop. Oh, there it is. Now, what I want to know is if I can still play the game, even though it's over. Because, you know, some games you can't do that once you beat the game. Oh, no, you can't. Okay. Well, do you want to see what happens if I save the council? No. It's probably what happens. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go now. Bye!